in this video I'm going to talk about the uh, customization part of the uh, Kalia Steam. Now uh, you probably want to add uh, of course your own CSS uh, or you want to restyle or override some uh, CSS styles and there are uh, quite a few ways to do that we uh, first have um, the uh, child team now I'm a big supporter of uh, using a child team like I said if you don't want your work to be overridden better to have a child team installed you can go to the editor of the child team and you can add here any classes you want to customize it sorry you can change the functions and so on but for the moment to edit uh, to have a global CSS you can just uh, add uh, uh, CSS here now there is uh, another way to do that by going to the advanced options of uh, Kalias options and here you can find this uh, custom CSS uh, section with, where you can add any CSS you want it will be loaded uh, into in line into the um, into the theme and you can do this without worrying that uh, I don't know uh, it will be overridden or something like this normally uh, if you add some CSS here uh, the, these styles will have a priority over the, um, the styles included in the uh, normal theme but if you do want to have uh, I don't know um, you know that CSS is a cascading, cascading uh, uh, st uh, style sheet and the order matters for CSS and also these styles here in this uh, custom CSS um, box will because they're loaded into the source code of uh, this page in the head uh, tags you these styles will most likely have a priority over any other style so for example if you want to I don't know customize this text for example let's say this I'm going to take this selector right here and I'm going to paste it here and going to say font size 32 and color blue save them and refresh as you can see the font size and color has changed and the CSS is loaded uh, dynamically now you can also add these styles here and update if I inspect this you'll notice that the styles from uh, dynamic let's try something else let's say here no here green I'm going to refresh this let me inspect now as you can see the styles and properties I defined into the child theme are overridden by the ones that are defined in the advanced options of uh, Kalia's theme. Now it's up to you which one you want to use. You can safely use both this one and this one if you want to make sure that your styles should have a priority over other styles simply 
uh, use this one and that should be uh, enough so that's about it uh, even though you're not using uh, if you're going to actually use this custom CSS still I do recommend using a child theme that's uh, a mandatory uh, request uh, we're asking that because you don't want your work to be uh, overridden so it's not a safe practice to I don't know to um, edit template CSS it's not okay it, these those styles will be uh, continuously uh, updated and it's not safe to work there so that's about it if um, these uh, like I said these uh, styles are globally loaded you they will find uh, they'll they will be find in found in every page so if you want to uh, custom uh, to load them into a custom page or a specific page please watch the next uh, video so thanks for watching see you in the next one